Don't be afraid of the next generation NCLEX. Let's boil this new test down to what it really is. I've taught hundreds of nurses and they usually say something along the lines of, if I was at the patient's bedside, I could have answered that question. These new items are set up with a case, which helps you set the stage for your imagination. You can now better envision yourself at the patient's bedside. Before we really get into this new test style, let's clear up a couple of rumors. First, the NCSBN has not said anything about adding fill-in-the-blank questions. They already use fill-in-the-blank for dosage and have for a long time. There's no reason to think that they're about to use fill-in-the-blank for any other reason. Second, there will only be a few of these on your test. You'll still have mostly good old select all that apply questions and multiple choice to test your know-how. This does not represent a scary change. What it does represent is an amazing chance for nurse educators like me to better help you think like a nurse. So first, look at cues. Vital signs that are altering over time are trending. Lab values that are out of range by 10 to 20% of their normal value. And you must ignore information that is not relevant. Second, think about those cues. Which conditions come to mind based on what you see? Do you know why you are concerned? Do you need to get or see other data to support what you're thinking? Do you need a focused assessment? Third, of all the conditions you considered, does one thing seem more likely? Are any of these conditions more serious if they're truly happening, if they're really present? Fourth, what do you want to see happen next? Are there things that should be stopped or avoided? Does a vital measure need to go up or down? Does the patient need to be able to give you more urine? Maybe you need bleeding to stop or the lab values to normalize before cardiac arrest becomes imminent. Fifth, pick an action. Own your decision, take the action. Remember, what you do right now is based on this patient in this moment and with this context. Sixth, did anything that you tried help in any way? Is the patient better or worse? Go back through those initial cues. Did you fix what you wanted to fix? Has it even been long enough yet for the intervention to work? If it was not effective, do you need to look at the cues and start this cycle over? This is the nursing process. This is any scientific process. Think sixth grade science. Next generation nursing and testing is for you. It is to help our profession get stronger and better, to help us all get away from multiple choice and these questions that often feel like they don't have enough information and honestly feel like they don't judge who's going to be a safe nurse. Clinical reasoning and judgment is the science of nursing. Don't fear it, embrace it. Your future is here and the My Mastery nursing team has your back.